do have enough great bread pudding upon our request. Act 1 will begin very shortly and will take place out here on the balcony. So please make yourselves comfortable in the meantime as we have seating for those who need it. We will have civilians in the land magical all around you, so feel free to ask them any questions and let them assist you in finding your seat as we transition this fall. Please also note that the union closes at 10 p.m., so please leave the building by that time. And lastly, enjoy the show. Hip hip!
that blessed arrangement, that dream within a dream. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join this woman, Princess Emily, daughter of King Samson of the Kingdom of Walton, and this man, Prince Tobias, son of Queen Eudora of the Kingdom of Tilly Dome. Applause, please. <laughs>
And I do, that means we must be getting over the wedding preparations. You do have the altar in less than a couple hours. Couple hours? Can't we just call it off for the day? You know what, I'm still feeling quite ill and out of breath. Absolutely not. But you saw what a disaster the rehearsal was, and it was so humiliating, too. What if we just call it off by a week? Absolutely not. Oh, pretty please. What if I really, 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 really didn't want to marry him? Emily? Yeah, so what if he didn't want to marry me either? Like, the parties are just really off between us. I don't think there's much chemistry there. Emily? I think you should just call the whole thing off. Oh, pretty please. And I just want a different husband. Why can't I marry a guy I actually like? Emily! Girls, please leave us. I know this isn't what you want, but a princess must do what a princess must do. It's your royal duty to marry a prince, not just some guy you actually like. This wedding will save our kingdom, your kingdom! But father! No buts! I'm sure you'll be happier once the naughty time. And I'm so proud of you. You're truly blossoming into a wonderful young woman. A woman who doesn't just marry guys, right? Yes. Excellent. Now we find that corset. You're due to the altar in two hours. Now, I'm up to see you whether Tobias has actually found that ring or not. Looks like he's gone. And what's that? Very conveniently timed knock. Remember when I mentioned Gilby, the stable boy, the one Emmeline is utterly in love with? <coughs> hey, Emily, you in there? <laughs> <laughs>
you please rise as the bride makes her way down the aisle? Go on. Seriously. Oh.
my chance to start some drama. Look, Knight! She's over here! Ooh, 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 ooh! Something tells me she's over, uh... Here? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like my wagon. I'm actually a 
I'm a traveling salesman and these are my wares. Ooh, ooh, and um, this thing. Yes, my lamp. <laughs> wow, this lamp looks just like Princess Emily. What a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> what about this one? Oh, I actually had to like this. 
<laughs> All right, I guess it's time for a little costume change. <laughs>
tables really love me. <laughs> Seeing as you've all made it back to your seats, I suppose it's time to get on with the show. As you can see, King Samson isn't very pleased with Emmeline abandoning her groom at the altar. I can't believe this! This is an outrage! You're nuts! Where on earth are your nuts? You sent them out now for hours ago! I should have been back by now! How far can my little girl have gone? Prince Tobias doesn't feel quite so strongly. You know, mother, maybe it's not such a big deal. Maybe we don't have to be in such a rush to find her. I'm just saying that this is a very stressful situation, and maybe we should all calm down and tell the knights to call up their search. Nonsense! And if she doesn't come back quickly, we can just postpone the wedding. Anything indefinitely? Well, absolutely not. But I really don't want to. I don't want to hear Mr. Oh, and you have some looks on your face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my daughter? What do you like to know? <laughs> she got away. She got away. You two are knights of the highest order. How did you fail something so simple? Well, we we followed her all the way outside the castle walls. Outside yeah. the castle walls? Y'all have horses and you couldn't catch her? <laughs> but we think we know where she is. A young man told us that she was heading through <laughs> Grace Forest. Grace High. On her way to oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs>
That sounds very...
And how do you know the difference between true love's kiss and a normal one? Oh, you just know. I heard that when it happens, it feels like a thousand fireworks are going off, and the song is supposed to play. Or something like that, because I haven't had it, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's how it goes. <laughs> You're kidding! No way something like that actually exists. I don't know what kind of fairy tales you've been reading, but that whole true love's kiss nonsense is so fake. You just wouldn't understand. Excuse my friend. <laughs> <laughs> but this will be guy sounds like a real fuck boy. <laughs>
Paul's head in hand where I be decked with paint and rosemary, in that grave you my master's be mere I contest he seen convivio. Are you in theater? 
Yeah, actually, I have a question about the... that? Oh, my magical! It is! <laughs> Princess Emily! <laughs>
I said, sire, I oh, never. You must be breaking up. All I can hear is static. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging up now. Don't come back unless you have Emily with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if you bring back the anchor dead or alive. I just want my daughter back. Bring her to me at once. <laughs> I can't believe it. Since when am I the royal babysitter? Can I keep the magic talking box? You don't mind? Perfect. Thank you. <laughs>
like a moose. And with all sorts of beasties with hair. I do it with sticks because the fangs work there. But it's just not the same when you pull the caboose. That's the feeling you get when you're ramming a moose. Moose, moose. I like a moose. I've never had anything quite like a moose. I've had many lovers. My life has been loose. But I've never had anything quite like a moose. People who hold, they have their icons. The Greeks, the Romans, the Amazons. The getaway got all of Buddha and Zeus. I'll only go down on my knees for a moose.
He was pissing. He was in the doing. Don't 
movement check or if thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully. Or if thou thinks I am too quickly won, I'll frown and be perverse and say thee nay. Lady, by yonder blessed moon I vow that tips with silver all these retreat off. And who is the other girl? An actor, my lord. So why is it just so? She's playing the role of Manchego. Ghastly, nasty. Shut up! And what shall I swear by? Do not swear at all. Or if thou must, swear by thy gracious self, which is the god of my idolatry. I've actually enjoyed you. What? <laughs> Do not forget the plan, my like king. Sleep till upon thine eyes, peace and thine rest. Where I sleep in peace, so sweet to rest. Good night. Good night, parting in such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Is it over already? No, sir, it's intermission. Your kingliness, you must send your knife up to a stop. Now! Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Well, maybe you do. And we do such a fun job on stage. If you shake the drugs, maybe this whole acting thing isn't so bad after all. My liege, you must round up those actors now. The actors? But they're not even hurting anyone. I can't believe this. This insolence. This. This. Uh, Fortune, would you warn me when an actor is about to die on stage? I think it's stomach to see everyone get hurt, even if it isn't real. That's it! In the fourth act of Manchego Mimlet, Emily drinks from a sleeping potion and goes to sleep for the next few scenes. Are there any tech directors backstage? Can I help you? Yes. <laughs> you mind coming out here and bringing me that bottle of potion that Emily drinks from? A certified sleeping potion guaranteed to put anyone to sleep. Now, do you mind bringing this to Emily instead? Would it bring Emily a sleeping potion? Yes, but it's not that harmful. All we have to do is get Emily back to Prince the Wise, get him to kiss her, and she'll be reawoken by true love's kiss. You know, those Disney movies really had it right. <laughs> What each and every one of you out there is thinking, you're all looking at me and thinking, oh, Fortune, how could you lose a good conscience? Aren't you King Samson's right hand man? And to that, to that I say, drugging a princess with a little deadly nightshade isn't that bad. And plus, I am not the villain of this play, and there are plenty of villains in past magicals who have done much worse. I'm just the narrator who likes to keep things interesting. <laughs> Ah, Minolette, 
Why art thou yet so fair? Here, I will set up my everlasting rest. Come, bitter conduct, come, unsavory guide. Here's to my love. Thus, with a kiss, I die. Get the wise 
kiss her a few times, I promise you. The deadly night tonight, you not that deadly. Oh, I'll free Madrigal! Knights, arrest Fortune immediately! Off with his hat! You're gonna need it. Oh. <laughs> 
Queen Eudora and King Samson went back to the kingdom of Waddleton. Well, no longer the kingdom of Waddleton. After they got married, they dubbed it a new name, Waddledo. <laughs> Willoughby is no longer that unfaithful womanizer he used to be. After he settled down with a man, him and Tobias got married and they lived in a little shack by, ba by their favorite cottage, Baby Stables. Tobias, Tobias, stop Satch. Am I hearing anyone? Duh! What about Miss Rosa? Oh. Yes, of course, my favorite too. Emmeline and Rosa. Emmeline forgave me for poisoning her. <laughs> she still makes fun of me for it to this day. But they're engaged! It is going to be huge. I am going to wear a ten foot long veil with a million flowers. I'm thinking a five act Renaissance style dinner theater. <laughs> As you can see, Emily's pretty excited. I really lucked out marrying the princess. Oh. I suspect it's time for our final result. But before that, does anyone have any final words of advice? I, 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 you, you, I do. <laughs> Patience is a virtue, baby. As long as you're okay with like everything will work out in the end. I do as well. You're human. You can make your own decisions. Have faith in what you believe in.
reception of the Magical Dinner. We have an open mic night coming up on December 1st, and we would love if y'all could come to it. Um, and if you want to come to any of our meetings, we have meetings every Tuesday at 6 in WCP 1.106. Um, and in your little programs, there is an eval form. We would love if you could fill it out and bubble it. That would be fantastic. And once again, the building does close at 10, so if you could leave afterwards, <laughs> that would be greatly appreciated. Um, and we hope that you come to the 42nd Magical Dinner next year. So again, thank you so much. Shadow Cat!